Okay, so you guys know I love to cook and I am doing more vegetarian dishes now because you've asked for them. So today we're gonna make a chickpea curry. Um, it is dairy free. It is, I'm pretty sure gluten free. Um, it's super easy to make. It's a one pan meal. So I've got my pot here and let me show you the ingredients. <laughs> Here are the some of the ingredients for this dish. So we have about a pound of chickpeas. We have some coconut milk. We also have some spices, so garam masala, some turmeric, and garlic we have here. And then also some Thai curry paste. It's red curry, so it's a little spicy. I love that. And then I also have some of my other ingredients here, like my garlic and my onion, and I'm gonna get those chopped up in my little food chopper. Sorry about my dogs. They are always whining at the most inconvenient times. Um, but yeah, that's it for the ingredients. And then we're also gonna make some coconut milk rice. So I'll do that after I get the curry started. Okay, first I'm starting with my burner. So I'm gonna turn that on to about medium heat and add some avocado oil in here. This looks so bright, I don't know why. Sorry, I look super bright. So it's about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half of avocado oil. I tend to use avocado oil a lot. I think it is like, I don't know, less, it's just like less, less um, flavorful than olive oil. And then you don't get that olivey flavor. And I find that to be absolutely fine. And then let me get my knife here. So we've got all this stuff over here, like our chickpeas and all that. We're gonna cut up a half onion. We have our half onion here. I'm giving this a chop. I'll throw that to the side. We have our onion. It's gonna go over here into our food chopper so we don't have to do very much work. I just like to get it chopped into a couple smaller pieces. Hopefully, okay, probably didn't see any of that. Self-filming is a fun exercise. Two, our third, and our fourth. And that one is a good one, see? smashed and beautiful okay so that's really all of the chopping that I have to do is just garlic and onion so I'm gonna get this set put the top on and food chop it oh, gotta turn it on so it works really good let me take it off of here and I'll show it to you and then it's gonna get dumped into our pan so I think that looks really great and then let's move this cilantro this is gonna go in here later too but it's getting in the way of the video okay so medium seems a little hot for this pan which I think is fine you can see it getting pretty smoky which for avocado oil means that it's a bit hot because the smoke point of avocado oil is relatively high but we're gonna turn this down just a little bit and then we're gonna stick our mixture of onion and garlic into the pan so we're just gonna dump that right in grab a little spatula because I really want to make sure that I get all of the 
garlic and onion out of here. And what we're gonna do is just let those sweat and get some color for just a minute. So I don't know if I mentioned, but this is about half an onion. Set those aside there, let them cook down a tiny bit. You can see they're doing pretty well and getting like nice and brown. Okay, so these are nice and browned. I really love this. And so now it's about time to add in our seasonings. We're gonna add about a nice heaping teaspoon of garam masala. And this is gonna be nice because these ingredients are gonna get really toasty in here, which is always good for our food. So we've got whew, our garam masala, got our heaping teaspoon of turmeric, just gonna give it beautiful color. We have some garlic powder. We're gonna do about a teaspoon of that because I love garlic. And then when we get closer, we're gonna do another spoonful of this, but we're gonna take our red curry paste. And here's the red curry paste that I'm using. We're gonna take one teaspoon of that for now to cook with the vegetables. And then we're gonna do another teaspoon in just a little bit when we add in our chickpeas. So this is gonna all get nice good stir and it's gonna all settle into each other and we can turn up the heat just a little bit more the onion kind of caramelizes it takes a really really long time to caramelize onions so what I love about this is that the caramelization kind of happens in the pan right here as you're like gently cooking everything and then what's beautiful about this is that this builds a ton of the flavor. So I can already smell it. it, smells really delicious. And then I'm gonna grab some salt here, just a pinch and salt. My little aromatics. And this part doesn't take long. I just like to get everything kind of like nice and toasty. Get that good flavor built there in the bottom of the pan. My pan's really hot, so try not to touch it. Then we have our chickpeas. So here's what I'm using. And I'm not gonna have the liquid in here. These are always packed with liquid, so I'm gonna drain this out first. I just opened it, I'm gonna pour it over here in my sink. Let me take you with me, because then you can like see me pour it out. Pretty important. So I just opened it up. Here it is, and then we'll pour it out. You can also see how imperfect my kitchen is, how much stuff we have in the sink. <laughs> so, we're gonna get as much of that liquid out as we can. Can also, hey, <laughs> can also strain this with a little strainer. I have a mesh strainer. I should have probably done that, but. This feels good enough. And then I don't worry about rinsing them, honestly. You can rinse them if you want to. I just find it's fine to drain them as much as possible and then throw them in. So let's, let's do that. Let's throw them in. Okay, so we just got them in and then we'll give it a nice stir here and get them all incorporated with the rest of the curry. I love a good curry dish because it's just so easy to make in one pot. And I'm gonna turn this back up to medium heat just a little and move it on my burner because 
as I'm stirring, it's like, I was doing that annoying tilt, <laughs> making a lot of noise for no reason. So it's recentered on the burner here and then just gonna keep stirring it in. And it smells really delicious. Lots of garlic and onion flavor. So, and the other thing about this is we don't want the chickpeas to get mushy. Once I heat them through and I get them like pretty even in the pan, that's when I'm gonna add my coconut milk. And coconut milk is really nice because it is super fatty and delicious. Um, it's a non-dairy option. So if you're vegan, this dish ends up being vegan, which is very, very cool. Lots of you have been asking me for more vegan and vegetarian recipes. So I am obliging. <laughs> and then we're also gonna salt give chickpeas a little salt first and then add in our coconut milk here and I need my little spatula for this it is always you should always like shake this up a little bit see all that came out but you can kind of stir and mix it and you can see that coconut cream right there so I'm just using an unsweetened coconut milk for this. And like I said, it's so rich and so delicious. And you can use pretty much anything you want in this curry. So let me get this mixed up. And at this point, it's also okay to add more spices. So if you are looking at this and you're like, mm, I think I want some more like turmeric or I want some more garam masala, feel free, like feel free to add. And then I really like the curry paste because it makes it like nice and spicy. And I love spicy stuff. So doing a great mix on this getting everything evenly incorporated. I'm seeing some of the coconut milk like pieces in there. So I just want to give it a good stir, make sure that I evenly incorporate everything. And then at this point, it's the great point to do this. I'm going to add another teaspoon, heaping teaspoon. So I'm being very generous <laughs> with my teaspoon. Um, heaping teaspoon, like curry paste in there, just re-adding that for more. It's so, I wish that you guys could smell that. It's like such a delicious smell. Okay, so I'm gonna stir that in. It's gonna continue to give it beautiful color. If you want, you can add like chili powder to this for even more spice, but I'm gonna leave this here. Just like this. I think it's got enough spice. I do wanna add a little bit of freshly cracked pepper in there. And then we're gonna turn this down to low heat and just let it simmer while the rice is cooking. And you can let this simmer for an hour if you want. You can let it simmer for less. Um, longer you let it go, the more flavor you're gonna have in there. So that looks really, really good to me. I can also taste it at this point too, see if it needs anything else. I think it's really good. It could probably use like a tiny bit more salt at the end and maybe some citrus. I wish I had some lime. I do have a lemon, so I may add like a squeeze of lemon juice in there. But it's good and creamy at this point, so we're just gonna let it go and then I'm gonna make some rice. So let's do that. Okay, so I have my strainer here. I have my cup my rice and my coconut milk. And also we're gonna put a pinch of salt in there. That's all that you need to be able to make coconut milk rice. 
I love coconut milk rice. It is super delicious and it's really easy to make. It's also like very rich, so it pairs really nicely with the curry that we made. So one cup of rice and I got it over this just to make sure. Get a little extra. There we go. I'm using jasmine rice for this. Great choice of rice. It's long grain. It's nice. Um, it's a Thai rice, which is great. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to rinse the rice until the water runs clearly. That gets like all the starch off the rice. So once it runs completely clear, we'll dump it in. That's in our pan. And then we'll get our coconut milk mixture to add. And we're gonna add our coconut milk that we have here to it. So this is just a second can of coconut milk that I have. I have, I keep coconut milk around all the time because if you want that like creamy texture but you don't wanna use cream or you don't want your rice to be too starchy, coconut milk is actually perfect for that. And it's just a great addition to lots of different meals. So set that to the side. And then like always, kind of have to, ooh, I always do that. I just like, like to poke a little hole in it because if not, it will like just go crazy everywhere. So put my coconut milk in there and get out like the actual coconut pieces. And like I said, you should usually shake this can before you open it. I almost never do, <laughs> I just mix it. But like I said, this is a great way to get like creamy rice without having to add any dairy. So that looks good. And then we're gonna add a half cup of water to this just to thin out the coconut mixture. Tiny, tiny bit. So take my cup. And I've got an extra half cup in there. And then I give it a little stir in here. That just helps to incorporate all of the coconut milk and make sure that the rice is completely covered and that there are like no chunks of the coconut in there. So it's gonna get cooked evenly. I like to salt my rice a little bit more because I find that, you know, you want it to be nice and flavorful. And then we'll boil this uncovered and then we'll cover it up, let it steam. Here's what our coconut milk rice looks like. So it hasn't fully come to a boil yet, but we're in a pretty good place. And then let's check on our curry. It's kind of hot, so we'll do the responsible thing, get a towel for this to open it up. And it's looking really, really good. Super bubbly and delicious. So we're in a good place with both. The rice and curry got their cook time. So let us take a look at both. So coconut milk rice, you can see it looks really creamy and delicious. And then magic shot of our curry. So let's like get this stirred up and plated and eat it. We've got our coconut milk rice here. So good. So we'll do a scoop of that into our bowl. This is for Brian, so Brian gets extra rice because he can handle it. I can't. <laughs> then we'll get our chickpea curry. I want to get some big heaping spoonfuls in here. Oh my gosh, looks incredible. And the sauce, so good. And then have some cilantro. We'll throw some cilantro leaves on top. 
and he doesn't love cilantro, so I won't give him a lot, but just a few good leaves. Oh my gosh, and then look at this. Check that out. It's like super delicious. Vegan bowl. Chickpea curry. That's amazing. It looks so, so good. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to like dig into this. This is Brian's bowl, so I'm not gonna eat his bowl, but it smells so good. And it was super easy to make, like you guys saw. Just a pan for the rice, a pan for the chickpea curry. You can dump it all in, mix it up if you want. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you guys try it. The recipe is up on hangrywoman.com so that you can give it a whirl yourself. And um, yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And check me out in my other recipes. I have a playlist of videos where I cook. I'm trying out this new style where I cook with you and you can cook with me. So hopefully you like it. And I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's just a